When Deacon Anderson found a wounded baby squirrel in his yard, he knew he had to help. When the vet told him the animal had very little chance to survive, the rescuer could not let him die alone. Anderson brought the critter into his home and did all he could to make him comfortable. Anderson is a single father who lives in Denmark with his children Nicole and Marcus. The family shared their home with a pet named Coco. In April 2014, the clan would welcome a surprise new addition. It was then that Anderson witnessed a tiny red squirrel tumble from the fourth story of his apartment. And the critter's landing was far from smooth. He ended up falling straight into a prickly bush. An apprehensive Anderson then went to see how the squirrel was doing. He found him lying in the middle of his yard, clearly injured and bleeding from where the youngster had hit a tree branch. While Anderson felt the need to help the poor squirrel, he didn't want to interfere with the natural order. So he left the creature where he found him in the hope that his mother would come to save him. However, she never did. Rejected by his family, the squirrel's only hope was Anderson. Happily, when the dad of two realized no one was coming for the critter, he stepped up to the plate and took the animal to his local vet. Then Anderson waited for assistance. He took a risk by placing the baby squirrel by his pet cat, Coco. And while felines and rodents aren't known to be friendly towards each other, Coco ended up taking to the squirrel right away. It's as if she knew his life was in danger. She cleaned the animal before snuggling up with him in an effort to keep him cozy. By the time the vet arrived, Coco and the squirrel already appeared to be friends. But the future of the pair's relationship was cast into doubt when the vet revealed the squirrel had little hope of surviving. All the expert could do was patch the animal up and hope for the best. Anderson refused to give up though. Instead, he made the squirrel, who would dub Tintin, part of his family. And with a little help from his kids, the gallant dad made miniature sweaters for Tintin to wear to stop the animal from scratching his injuries while they healed. Then, after five long months, Tintin had finally recovered. Given that the squirrel had grown up inside and was used to relying on Anderson for food, he wasn't suitable for release. The family ultimately decided to keep Tintin as a pet. An interview with People in 2016, Anderson explained, By the time Tintin's bandage was removed, he was completely domesticated and had no fear of cats. He quickly became like a third child to me. However, since red squirrels are endangered, it's prohibited to keep them as pets. As a result, Anderson had to apply for permission to keep Tintin in his house from the authorities. On his website about the squirrel, Anderson revealed, under Tintin's special circumstances, I've gotten exclusive permission from the Danish Wildlife Preservation to care and nurse for Tintin till the end of his days. The dad hoped, however, that his new charge would live until a good 15 to 20 years from now. Now that he was approved to keep the squirrel, Anderson set about assembling a more permanent sleeping arrangement for Tintin. And soon enough, he built an enclosure more than fit for the rodent. The Danish man had recreated a woodland environment inside a large cage, complete with branches and foliage. Anderson might have gone the extra mile to make the cage habitable. Tintin still preferred hanging out in the house. The family never locked the squirrel away and allow him to wander wherever he sees fit. All the cage is used for now, in fact, is mealtimes and toilet trips. To ensure Tintin can experience his natural environment, Anderson also treats the squirrel to trips to local green spaces. Whenever the pair are out in the wild, Anderson likes to keep the critter on a harness, just to keep him safe. Anderson explained at the squirrel's website, Although I would prefer to see Tintin without a leash, it's simply too dangerous for him not to have one. There's a huge amount of natural predators in the area, including cats, hawks, and owls. When the pair visits the forest, Tintin likes to enjoy some of the foods he would typically eat in the wild. Anderson collects nuts and pine cones for his pet to consume at home. Besides the natural food, he also likes rabbit food, corn, lettuce, tomatoes, and all that sort of good stuff, the squirrel's owner revealed. Perhaps apart from his preference for healthy food, Tintin is much like any other pet. He loves to cuddle, and he worries if we're sick or feeling bad. He loves to make small innocent troubles and acts goofily to make us laugh and smile. In fact, Tintin brought so much joy to Anderson's life that he wanted to share the squirrel with the world via Instagram. On Tintin's page, the squirrel boasts 119,000 followers and his owner hopes that the animal makes them as happy as he is. With so much negativity in the world, I thought it could help lift people up, Anderson explained to people. Please share with your friends and family.